3 out of 6, and then multiplying that 3 out of 6 by 1 out of 6, right? That would give you the probability of So there's a one, one out of nine ch percent chance you're going to get roll an odd number and have a sum of seven. But because the problem is only, it says this is given, right? That this event, that the first roll is given that it already happens, right? So you're only calculating these percentages, right? Given that this has already happened, what is what is the percent chance you're going to get a sum of seven, right? The way they, they could have phrased the question in a different way and got a lot of the answer that you guys calculated, like what is the probability of getting a sum of seven um, and having your, the first roll be an odd number? Um, but that. Does that say three over six times one over six? Three over six times one over six. Yes. How do you get four over six? That's oh. <laughs> so that would be three, one, and. So, um, now we're going to move on to, I want to finish the casino lab. Um, so, a few notes before we jump back into that. Um, again, the test is on Tuesday. Um, we'll review, we'll do a review on Monday. Uh, but after today, you guys should have enough of the Conceda Lab finished, really, that you only need to like, uh, like make it, like maybe spend like five, ten minutes over the weekend making it nice, uh, maybe checking your answers. So get that Conceda, the Conceda Lab finished and back to me on Monday. Um, and then I'm, so this is different than the sheet. So if you're just looking at the sheet, this is a change from it. Okay, the review packet and practice test, that's all I'm going to ask you to do. I'm not going to ask you to do a review packet on top of that. So this review packet practice test, um, you have that needs to be back to you by Tuesday, by the day that we take the test. Um, and so those are just the questions in the back of chapter five. Yeah, Abby? The, so, that's, so that's classwork. So in station two, you're doing nine and 10 in that. Great. Um, I don't have all the supplies set out. Um, they're all on the back table. Um, so I know all the groups are in different places. Um, where can, before we start, where is every, what, what, what station is everybody working on? You guys working on three, one. one. What are you guys working on? One. one. And you guys working on? Okay, yeah, yeah. And since by those of you guys can. Awesome. Go back and collect cards, dice, whatever you need for your station. Remember, skipping four on question four. So this one takes a while, so do you be doing it two times? Like, don't have just one person go off and play around. So. First, you want to, you're going to want to find the probability of face of part of an ace, and then you get a blackjack from that, and then the probability of face of part is a blackjack, uh, face of part is a blackjack, and you figure out that probability, and then you can add those probabilities. So it never changed the number. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, 
because if you were only doing two out of fifty, yeah. I'd be too old to take the penalty. Two over fifty one times four over fifty one. Um yeah. The so So you first you have to we're adding or we would add those two together. So we want to do the probability of getting this. So there's a, a four out of fifty-two chance that the first card will be an ace. And so then you'll so in order to get uh, a blackjack with that, you need to multiply these two by each other. So you have the four out of fifty-two percent chance of getting an ace, and then multiply that by your two over fifty-one percent chance of getting a blackjack in the box. And then for this one, right, the finding it, the face up card is a blackjack, is a two out of fifty-two percent chance. Right, that first card is a blackjack. So you take that percent chance of having this given situation and multiply it by getting a blackjack like that. And then you're gonna add this to the So you multiply so the general multiplication rule is that you multiply down, like if you're like thinking about like an event over a period of time. Right, that two to get an ace and then a blackjack. So you're gonna multiply these two probabilities by each other. Um, and then you're gonna, once you have the probability of the situation and the probability of the situation, then you add those two probabilities together. Because you multiply over time and then you add if you just like kind of see probabilities. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Maybe they're weighted dice. Maybe they're weighted dice. <laughs> after you move, after you flip over a card, it's like, it says, uh, like whether you use thicker twitch, and like, you still like one third chance that you're right. So at the beginning, like when you choose one, like there is a one third chance that you're right. Mm -hmm. So I like, think you got like three cards or whatever, you choose one, right? So then that's the one third chance. After they remove it, right, then there's kind of half chance that you're right. Mm -hmm. Talking about four after you remove the card, because that would change uh, if it's a third or a half. So uh, after you remove the card, then it's like this is the Then, and so would it? Would, do you agree or disagree that it wouldn't make sense? So like the moving the card is switching. The moving the card is switching. Yeah. Well, so. When you remove a card, that would make a difference. But when you switch, it shouldn't really make a difference. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. any card has the same given probability of being a card. Um, but yeah. And so then when you take out a card, then. I'm actually, I actually don't see what you're saying. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um. So we got, we got three cards, right? Yeah. And we choose one. Mm -hmm. At that point, when we have that one chosen, we have a one third chance that we're right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, after you remove one of the cards, you now have a one half chance of being right. Yes. So, um, I'm saying, like, with this question is saying that, yeah, you still have one third chance of being right. We're talking about that one third chance being like before or after you remove the card. After you remove the card. Okay. So like after you remove it, it would be a half, so it wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. So that, yeah. So that it does make a difference. So then, what, so then intuition tells us that. But, but here it says whether you stick or switch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, but at the point where you stick or switch, you already have a one half chance. The. But, so whether you, so you're saying, d depending on whether you stick to the, the one that you've chosen or whether you switch? Uh, I'm saying sticking or switching will not change, like, the probability of you doing it. Yes. That's the, so that's the intuition, but after 
after one of the cards is removed, then then the probability does change, like you talked about. Then you have a one in two chance. So here says is there still a one third chance? It wouldn't be one third at the would be one half. Yeah. So it does make a difference. So intuition in this case is incorrect. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, was that making sense? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come back to your hands first, made for four, and then I think that'll set this in context a little bit better. But for this one, um, make sure you draw out the sample spaces, and then and then I think you'll see what this question is asking when you answer this question. I think it's So I Yeah, you're making sense, Michael. It's just a matter of like understanding what the question's asking. Yeah. And I don't I don't even know what I don't know stacks. So. Yeah. So here like I was just saying like whether you stick or switch. Yeah. I'm saying like that's not what changes the probability. It's taking it's taking the card that changes the probability. So hmm. and here's just like oh, so third chance. So right. If you oh. Three cards and you choose one card over another. It's still a one third. Yeah, but at the time you're being chosen. At the time when you're able to stick or switch, it's already one half. It's a half. Yeah. So it was never a third to begin with. Right. So if you like the problems, it should say a half. Yeah. A third. And then it wouldn't make a difference whether you yeah. stick or switch. Yeah. What? Gluten eggs? Yeah, with like flaxseed? <laughs> Floating ice? Dice. Dice. No, but I think we should stay on track. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like no luck in that. Right? <laughs> no. Definitely. Because like rolling dice is all skill. Yeah, because it, it all depends on like the flick of the wrist. Because like let's say let's say you roll a like if 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 you just like do it and just like that then it's not the right thing. And then. Yes. <laughs> Two. 
So for these ones, I want you to calculate the actual probabilities for it. So out of all of the possible, so not from your simulation, but to actually calculate it. Okay? This sheet should help. It has all 36 of the different um, uh, ways. But yeah, you want to answer these with actual probabilities, not what you got in your, um, in your study. Though, um, yeah, these numbers are nice because they're pretty close to it. Mr. Nelson, do you have another dice? No, you didn't. Why are you watching there? You think you need a pair of dice? A pair. No, but you already had one. And then a two. And then a two. Yeah. So five and two right here. Yeah, just kind of put me on these. Well, she can write on them because you can't write on them. So, just go through. Eight, four. This is four. Seven or eleven, so, yeah. So. Chances of having a girl and a boy is zero. Chances of having a girl and a girl is zero. Zero, because this is zero in the first place. It's just, there's right I should have. So it comes 50 50 with the guy, or with the girl. Yeah, I put it on the middle of the Oh, I was gonna say they got Chloe on Yeah, no, 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 not that front there. Okay, so the first, let's go back to the first question. A sum of 7 or 11 on the first roll. Okay, how would we figure out what's the probability of getting a sum of 7 or 11? Do we get a pencil sum? Test on two boys. And then 11, 7. Wait, would, that, would these count though? Because they're the same? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, because that's mm -hmm. why one's red and one's green. Oh, yeah. So certain. And then this, this two possibilities for eleven, right? Five and six, and then six. And five. There you go. Wait, so like, what do you think the best game is to like play out against? You know, like the best part of the day? Um, I don't know. You uh, learn statistics, and then you can. Uh, so eight. Eight. Blackjack, Pat. You think so? No, it is. It's the one where, like, where you're, like, likely to win. I mean, the house is still going to win over time, but it's like 49-51. Really? Ooh. Yeah. That's the only card The only bad thing is I have that looks. So, but there's not 20 different possibilities now. How many are there? Well, I'll, I'll do good, like, when she's in math class, but if there was money on the line, I would have the way. So then it's two. Yeah. Um, one. You can't forget, the house will always win. Yeah, exactly. What? Do I get what? I don't gamble, no. Right when I turn 18, I wrote a scratch ticket. My husband's gambled a, a few times. Do they always lose on scratch? Like, he's played Jack, Black Jack. Would you say he's won? He has been. Yeah, he has been. Since I was like, yeah. yeah. Me and I'm so scared. Like, scratch Why? Every time. I know that. Me and Chad, every time we leave for flights, we 